It's showtime! Hey, yo, what up, Fight World? your boy, Boxing Fanatic. I'm back with another one. Shakur Stevenson versus Frank Martin. That fight fell out for unknown reasons, but we now have a new contender. His name is Edwin De Los Santos. Hey yo, what up you guys? It's your boy Boxing Fanatic, back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest and greatest content. So, Shakur Stevenson was supposed to be fighting Frank Martin for the vacant WBC lightweight title and it went to purse bid I guess top rank sent over a contract to Frank Martin and everything had got agreed but for some odd reason ESPN top rank and Shakur Stevenson saying that Shakur was the one that turned down the fight but I feel like it was all a game plan. They probably lowballed Frank Martin and Frank Martin and his team and Al Heyman and Earl Spence thought about it and what they do. They try to keep this fight in-house, try to keep this belt in-house. So just in case if Devin Haney was to try to come back down, now that Shakur Stevenson, if he beat Edwin, De Los Santos, if he beat him, Shakur Stevenson, I have something to bring to the table as far as a belt. But I don't think it's going to be an easy fight with De Los Santos. They both are southpaws. Um, he has a SD on his, on his card, split decision. But, and they have about almost the same amount of fights. De Los Santos, he's a real good fighter, but he's no Frank Martin. And for how ESPN and Top Rank and Shakur Stevenson was trying to make it and make it look like, I don't even think that's Frank Martin, you know, his character, because he don't even rock like that. But now they trying to claim Shakur Stevenson is the most duck fighter in boxing. No, that's not the case. They tried to lowball that man like Devin Haney sent over that 25% to Shakur Stevenson. He didn't take it. And then the purse bid, he didn't take it. So now they want to try to do the same thing to Frank Martin, which Frank Martin ain't no fool. But if they would have came with a 50-50, you know, split, I'm pretty sure that fight would have got made. And they was probably trying to lowball Frank Martin so he can and his team look at the contract and be like nah this ain't happening because they was already trying to stage it on espn on uh y'all espn and top rank was going to be the promoter that put up the fight so they was already trying to keep that this fight in-house and try to keep that belt in-house so that they can have some kind of leverage but now they that fight is still in-house with de los santos and stevenson um, I don't know if they still going to have that same fight date, which was set for November 16th or yeah, they can't put it on December 9th because Devin Haney is fighting December 9th against um, Regis Progre on the zone. So I don't think uh, Bob Aram and Shakur Stevenson want to put that fight on the same day because that would be stupid. But November 16th, that would look like the fight date, or they might push it back or, you know, bring it forward. Who knows? But um, I don't think Bob Aram is a is a real good promoter, in my honest opinion. Because from the way it looked, the way it looked of things, how and what he told Terrence Crawford, how he need to be like Floyd Mayweather. In other words, he need to be more brash and just get out how pretty boy was just out being more flamboyant and talking his ish so he want terrence crawford he was trying to get terrence crawford to do that but people that know but that ain't his character so and now you got a, a, i don't want to say up and coming fighter 
But the next, the I, I want to say the best thing at top rank is Shakur Stevenson. If I was Bob Arum, I'd be trying to promote him like he's the only best fighter that I got on my roster besides Vasily Lomachenko. And we already know Bob Arum already came out and said Vasily Lomachenko is his top fighter. So what that go to tell you, he'll pay Vasily Lomachenko top money before he pays Shakur Stevenson. But um, let's hope that um, De La Santos don't turn this fight down or they won't try to lowball that man. But, hey, you know, they probably pitched De La Santos that them same peanuts that they tried to pitch Frank Martin for that fight for a, 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 a title shot, a, a title shot at the WBC like Shakur Stevenson hold all the weight and top rank and Bob Aaron like they hold all the weight. Which they don't. It was a, you know, it should have been a 50-50 split, you know, between both of the fighters. Because you look at it, now one of them have a belt. But Frank Martin been at that, he been at that weight class longer. And if you look at Frank Martin last fight, his the fighter that he fought, he was, he was, got caught drug cheating. And the guy Shakur Stevenson fought with a sushi maker. But um, that's another story, another here or there. But um, I wish that fight could have got made between Shakur Stevenson and Frank Martin. But unfortunately, due to unknown circumstances, we have this Shakur Stevenson versus um, Edwin De La Santos, which I think will produce a real good fight. And let's just hope that he can put up a good fight against Shakur Stevenson. Because the way Shakur Stevenson is making it look like everybody afraid of him. Like everybody afraid of Tank in, in so many words because don't nobody really want to fight Tank. They not really they not wanting and willing to get in the ring with Tank. But um that's all I got for the night. Y'all let me know what y'all think, all right? Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. One love, one life. I'm out. Peace. If you enjoy content like this and you want to see more, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.